you may be very good on the pulpit as a preacher, but if your character does not preach Christ, you are still a pagan. Is that true? Christianity begins with the word from the pulpit, but it doesn't end here. It ends with the totality of your life as a Christian. Until people see us and begin to see us as true representatives of Christ, we have not started. And we, if I may ask, how many of us still have heaven in view? Heaven in view. For the past one month, how many of us have talked to God that God, the day I will leave this world, please make sure I am rapture worthy. Make sure I am in a good condition with you. This is the whole essence of life. A still born child is better than a Christian who lived in church and grew old, run all the activities in church and still end up in hell. It is better not to be born than to be born and end up in hell. Until we return back to God and stop running after miracles, stop running after prosperity, we will fail on the last day. You can't lose two things at the same time. There are people who have this world as their heaven. There are some who have this world as their hell. The passage we read, verse 13, Jesus said, with persecutions, what you shall get as a Christian, as a believer. If you get the persecutions of this world, if I get the persecutions of this world, and end up in hell. I be in hell with people like Gaddafi, Idi Amin of Uganda, people, some of people like Abasha, who stole our money and we are suffering today. And they will now ask me, Pastor, are you here too? It is painful. I have resolved that for the whole of my life, I will speak the truth. It is witchcraft to me and the highest level of corruption so far. If I take your offering, collect your tithe, you sow seed into my life. I live in a good house, built by church money, and I see you going to hell. And I refuse to tell you the truth. It is worse than witchcraft. Because there shall be fight in hell. There are members, church members, who will gather and beat up their pastors very well. Don't clap, don't clap. You are encouraging these people. Many of you are encouraging these people. You are encouraging them. And today in church, if you are ready to speak the truth, if you want to speak the truth, remove your intestine and be ready to go hungry. But it's better to be fed by ravens than to be fed with fitting hands. Have we returned to God? Have you? Me, I am repenting every day. I repent to every day. Because if I fail, there's something the Lord told me about three years ago. That look, I am warning you now, you think this thing is small? If you fail to change, I will cast you into hell. I will not change my standard because of my love for you. A lot of attention had been diverted. And you will agree with me that many who say, I have returned to God, they still belong to different secret societies. Someone was telling me, this month, a very young boy, that after I received one prophecy, I had to run for my life. And I wasted time and money. When he got to the fraternity, I don't want to call his name. He said, they were telling me, showing me pastors, apostles, bishops who belong here too. And they were telling me, you see that big man of God? He's our member. He's your fraternal brother. You see this one? You see that rich man? He is our member. Do we still have people like that in this church? Do we have people like that all over the world? We have to return to God with the whole of our hearts. Whether we keep our life or not, we will lose it one day. 